less than three proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of the animal kingdom. The human body assembles and utilizes about 50,000 different proteins to form organs, nerves, muscles, and flesh. Enzymes, the managers and catalysts of all our biochemical processes, are specialized proteins. So are antibodies. Protein is essential for normal growth, for the formation of hormones, for the process of blood clotting, and for the formation of milk during lactation. Protein helps regulate the acid-alkaline balance of tissues and blood. When protein is lacking in the diet, there is a tendency for the blood and tissues to become either too acid or too alkaline, depending on the acidity or the alkalinity of the foods we eat. Improper acid-alkaline balance is often a problem among vegetarians. We've already seen that both fats and carbohydrates can be devitalized by processing and refining. The same can be said of proteins. Isolated protein powders made from soy, whey, casein, and egg whites are currently popular as basic ingredients in diet beverages and many so-called health food products. These protein isolates are usually obtained by a high temperature process that over denatures the proteins to such an extent that they become virtually useless while increasing nitrates and other carcinogens. Protein powders are all often consumed as part of a low-fat diet and can thereby lead to the depletion of vitamin A and D reserves. Soy protein isolates are high in mineral blocking phytates, thyroid depressing phytoestrogens, and potent enzyme inhibitors that depress growth and cause cancer. In summary, animal products are important sources of bodybuilding elements in the diet. Furthermore, animal fats supply vitamin A and vitamin D, and animal protein is rich in minerals, vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. The primitive cultures valued certain high vitamin animal products like organ meats, butter, fish eggs, and shellfish for growing children and for parents of both sexes during the childbearing years. They also ate some animal food raw. Animal fats and gelatin-rich bone broths both spare protein, which means that meat goes a lot further when eaten in a broth or combined with animal fat. Individuals who must restrict protein consumption for budgetary reasons should include liberal amounts of good quality animal fats and budget sparing bone broths in their diets. Any discussion of meat eating should include the observation that temporary abstinence from animal products has been traditionally valued as a cleansing healing practice. This is reflected in the dietary laws of many religions and in the practices of primitive people who engage in periods of sparse eating or complete fasting, often in the late winter or early spring when food is scarce. This wisdom is justified by the fact that meatless diets often provide, prove beneficial in the treatment of cancer and other diseases such as arthritis, kidney problems, and gout. But problems arise when the practices continue too long. These include caries, bone loss, nervous disorders, and reproductive ailments. Strict vegetarianism is particularly dangerous for growing children and for women and men during their child-producing years. This is a warning. Our endorsement of animal products must be tempered with this important caveat. The meat, milk, and eggs in our supermarkets are highly contaminated and vastly inferior in nutritional quality to those available to our ancestors just a few decades ago. Modern cattle raising techniques include the use of steroids to make meat more tender and antibiotics that allow cattle to survive in crowded feedlots. Many cattle supplying steaks to the American table have never seen the open range and calves raised for veal are often confined to crates for the whole of their pathetic short lives. Diseased animals routinely pass inspection and find their way into the food supply. Chickens are raised in crowded pens, often under artificial light, both night and day, and fed on subst substandard food. They, too, must be guarded from infection by antibiotics. Their eggs are inferior in nutritional qualities to those of free-range, properly nourished hens. Avoid processed meats, such as sausage, luncheon meats, and bacon that have been preserved with nitrates, nitrites, and other common meat preservatives. 
These are potent carcinogens that have been linked to cancer of the esophagus, stomach, large intestine, bladder, and lungs. Traditionally, sausage was a healthy, high-fat product containing nutrient-dense organ meats and preserved through lacto-fermentation, a process that actually increases nutrients.